Hello there. Sarah from 17 once again. A lovely tickly throat because I've been doing commentary for quite some time. That was a quick stop so I could cough because I've been coughing far too frequently on these and uh, I need to take that out. So, this is Dark Souls Invasions. This is the 15th installment. But 15 does not necessarily mean that this is, you know, really long into my Dark Souls career. Because it's not. What this is, is basically probably the same day as the very first invasion that I put up. So for people on the comments that are like, get better at this, try this, do this, stop doing that, I appreciate your comments guys, but the reason why you're not seeing any of these changes in the videos is because they were all recorded before those comments even existed. But this is the first invasion, and immediately this guy's getting messed up by throwing knives from the Painted Guardians, and I want none of that, so uh, I point to tell him like, yo dude, Oh no, sorry, I, I bow to, to say, you know, I'm not here to, to fuck around, I'm here to actually have a fight and enjoy myself. And uh, he comes over with a buff, so I'm like, dude, seriously, are you not going to deal with these guys? They're just going to keep throwing knives at you, you're at a disadvantage. And, you know, he's, he's trying to poke me with the rapier, he's, he's, he's trying to fight, and I don't fight in this in, in type of situation, because it's just not my style. I know a lot of people disagree with my opinions on how to play PvP in Dark Souls, and there's nothing wrong with that, folks. It's just, if you're going to proselytize on my videos, I'm going to shut you down, and that's the reason why I have no patience for those people. So, you know, that's just how it works. But he kills the Painted Guardian, and I believe it's just me and him now, so the fight can begin. I'm using the... Uh, it's either a plus 15... No, sorry, this is a Chaos Blade. Uh... I'm using the Chaos Blade because it's my favourite katana, I just I love the risk and reward system that it has. I try and kick the shield there to try and break his stability, I switch to the shuttle to, to try and put him into panic mode. He's just run out of, of his buff, I throw the Lloyds to try and you know stop him from flasking just in case he does, and he does flask, but luckily enough I'm close enough to punish him with a backstab. And I am wearing the Hornet's Ring, so I do believe that that is a fatal backstab. There you go, I do the bow to say good fight, even though you did flask it. I've got to say, folks, flasking didn't used to bother me so much, but nowadays it's really starting to irritate me. And I don't know what changed. I don't know if it's because uh, lately I've been getting into fights where people have been flasking nine and ten times, and then I've lost after a massive battle I should have won. And it... Like on the PC, I came across a guy who bowed to initiate the duel. We started fighting. As soon as I start winning, he flasks. And then he, we he, he beats me, and then he bows. And then I sent the guy a message basically saying, Dude, if you're going to fucking heal, don't bow. There's no point. You've got no respect, so don't show it. And what does he do? He sends me a, a snarky message back, being the, the witty little idiot that he is. And uh, I just told him to go fuck himself, because that's exactly what you're going to get from me if that's the attitude that you convey, because I have no time for assholes. Uh, this guy uh, bows, so there's the duel. I pop the blossom. Uh, he's using the, the, the Gravelord sword that you get from Nito. He's also... Oh, that's a shame. That's a big shame. That's a Hornet Ring backstab, uh, lagstab, and then he finishes me off with the, the Wrath of Gods. And I, I can't get mad at him because it's a strategy that works. My god, was I mad at him. <laughs> you fucking lagstab me and that's how you finish me? My god, son, we will have words. <laughs> yeah. And people need to realise that just because I get mad in these videos and I say stupid stuff does not necessarily mean I wish ill will towards people. There's a sort of thing called humour and some people have no fucking idea what it means. And I get so sick and tired of people saying, I don't know why you're getting mad. Well, I do, because it's my fucking right to do so. Why does El Presidor get mad? Some people are retarded, but this is a dude wearing the, the iron armor on his chest and leggings. He's got the Mask of the Father, he's got the Black Knight Great Axe and the Great Shield of Artorias. And I'm making a big mistake here, folks, because I'm trying to, to parry a weapon on stairs. And I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, this is my inexperience shining through right now, because... I know every time I come up against this axe, it generally beats me because it does a lot of damage and it's got a wide swing. So I know I have to learn the parry timing. And some of the parry timings can be really confusing, as I get a partial there, but that's not good enough. And... Like, on PC too, I should probably talk about this. The parry timing on PC is different. It's really different. 
And just as I got semi-competent on console, I'm playing PC where the Windows is, is different. And like, it almost seems like on console that as they start to do the attack, like the initial millisecond of the frame, you can wing a parry and, and get the parry. On, con on the PC though, it's like you need to do it before the move even starts. It's, it's almost as if there's more lag. And it can be really difficult because the only real parries you can do now seem to be blind parries because setup parries uh, have not been working for me. And it does suck because I want to play console because PC's kind of dead, but my gold memberships ran out and I can't afford to, to, to replace it right now. So I'm on PC pretty much indefinitely. Uh, this is a guy we've fought before, this folks. This is the dude who buffed on the bridge. You'll notice he's doing it again. Crystal magic weapon. And he's a nice guy. We, we exchanged words. They were all positive. It were all like, you know, how's your build coming? And, and how are you finding the buff and stuff? And he's a nice guy. But it all goes back to, I refuse to run away from buffs. I really do. And I'm trying to get good at hitting and running. But staying in the pocket. And I just can't seem to do it. Because they always use a fast weapon. It's always like a katana or a washing pole. So they've got reach for days. And just, just look at the damage. The PC's patched and tweaked a lot of things. One thing I definitely think it should have done is probably either reduce the buffs or make it so that you can't have that kind of damage unless you really invest. Because I think you should have to invest in faith or invest in intelligence. And I mean really invest. I'm talking you can't have high vitality, high endurance or high dex or high strength if you want to have a, a good buff build. You should have to really commit. And at this moment in time, hitting 40 faith or 40 intelligence or even 30 is not hard to do and you're rewarded with buffs that are ridiculously powerful. But fair fight, fair victory, good on that dude. Thanks for watching, you take care now.